What's cracking, Rubber Ducks fans? Here is your RDR for Tuesday, August 26th against the Trenton Thunder. Game calls from Fox Sports 1350. Trenton had runners at second and third. Didn't mean to hit it, slow roller to first, and now there's miscommunication. Nobody picks up the baseball. No, they did! Oh my gosh! <laughs> she scooped it up, and they got Bichette Jr. A late recovery for Sean Morimondo. Now the pitch, 0-2. That's lifted in the air to deep center. This will get a run home at least. And Linton there to make the catch. And Williams will tag and score easily. It's one to nothing. Smacked over to first. The lightning show now out and left. And that is going to be enough for Ryan Clark to say, let's uh, get off the field. So the lightning flash is what precipitates the delay at 8.33. Main seating bowl. Ground ball toward the right side, gloved by Wendell, dropped by Wendell, picks it up and throws it wide of first. It gets away from Lowry and in to score Segedin. They'll throw back to second. That ball goes into center field. And now Williams will come in and score. It's three to nothing. Here's the three two line down the left field line. That is Trouble City. It goes to the corner. This will easily score Castillo to make it five to nothing. And it's an RBI double by Jake Cave, his second hit of the night. Playoff spot over both Erie and Bowie going into play tomorrow. Here's a little flare headed for left, but it's picked off on a diving catch by Castillo. Jose can keep this one going. Here's the one two from Montgomery. Tapper toward first, fair ball up the first baseline, gloved by the first baseman Fiorito. He puts the tag on Pedroza and that ends the ninth and the ball game. Trent Thunder sure brought the storm with them. A 44-minute lightning delay did not work in the Ducks' favor. Come tomorrow night for game three of the series, and remember to wear your scarlet and gray and march in for OSU night. Get your tickets at akronrubberducks.com.